I'm Rebecca Hensley, and I'm the president of the Association for Humanist Sociology. At this pivotal moment in history, AHS has decided to turn this period of transition into one of transformation by holding our annual meeting this year in Habana, Cuba. We'll be participating in AHS Conference 2017 from November 1st through the 5th. Who really benefits from these policies? It's primarily the banks, it's the financiers. CNN ain't unbiased and uh, CNBC ain't unbiased, all these places, they're not unbiased. And the person can be racist and still be a good person, a member of the community, a good parent, a good spouse, and that just means that there's something they need to work on. I mean, today, if you say, say to someone, you're a racist, and that's like calling them a pedophile or a child molester. Cell phones kind of return us to that pre-tribal time. What did you, what did you want people to take away from yourself? I look at some of that stuff like neuromarketing or outsourcing as strange. I've been um, in Juarez sometimes for weeks at a time um, and uh, never have I been uh, not welcomed into someone's home. It's not just about how sports scholarships are perpetuating social inequality. Donald Trump who really isn't offering us anything except making us feel better. There isn't any substance, and I think that that's become the norm in politics. Why would a, a country based on and committed to the perpetuation of white supremacy let in 60 million people, only 12% of whom are from Europe? Seems a little weird, no? No, not weird at all. I mean, your point makes sense if you don't think about it. Um, what instead is happening today is the same as forced immigration from slavery. Some of the biggest names in sociology and some of the biggest names in Cuba will be participating in AHS Conference 2017. If this bold step excites you as much as it excites many of us, we invite you to join us November 1st through the 5th for an experience you'll never forget. <music>